In chapter 10, we'll explore several aspects of covalent bonding. Specifically, we'll compare the different types of bonding, learn how to draw appropriate structures for molecules, explore the bonding continuum, and discuss bond energy. In section 10.1, we'll learn how to predict the number of bonds an atom is likely to make. This lecture complements the previous one about ionic bonding from section 9.4, so let's begin. Nonmetal atoms will share electrons to achieve a noble gas configuration, NS2NP6, which is known as the octet rule. We will encounter exceptions to the rule, to be sure, with hydrogen making its own duet rule right out of the gate, since it only has the 1s orbital requiring one more electron to achieve a helium configuration. In general, we can count how many electrons are needed to achieve a noble gas configuration and use that number to predict the number of bonds needed. For example, hydrogen is only one electron short of a helium configuration, so it needs to form one bond. In the H2 molecule, each hydrogen atom gains access to a second valence electron, fulfilling the duet rule. We write this shared electron pair as a single dash between the element symbols. This estimation method works well for the period two elements, but period three elements and beyond can sometimes violate the octet rule. When we're forming bonds, it's important to realize that the electrons in bonds count towards fulfilling the octet rule of both atoms involved in the bonding since they are shared. Recall that as extremely small particles, electrons tend to have properties that are more wave-like than particle-like. As such, we can consider the electrons to be charge clouds that occupy the different orbital shapes. Using this analogy, shared electrons are overlapping charge clouds. Let's look at another example. Let's figure out how many bonds carbon is likely to make. Carbon has four valence electrons, as I've shown here in the electron configuration, so it needs to make four bonds to gain access to an additional four valence electrons. Since hydrogen needs one electron to complete its duet, we could imagine building a molecule of carbon covalently bonded to four hydrogens to satisfy the octets and duets of all involved atoms. We wind up with the structure shown here with the electrons from hydrogen shown in red and the electrons from carbon shown in blue. The red and blue electrons are shared equally in this model between the carbon and hydrogen atoms. Note too that since an octet is the goal, and each orbital can only hold two electrons, we typically think of each of the four quadrants around an atom as an orbital that can hold two electrons. Let's look at another example to see what I mean. In hydrochloric acid, the hydrogen atom shares its electron with chlorine. Chlorine already comes in with seven valence electrons, so most of these will be shown as lone pairs of electrons in three of the four quadrants surrounding the symbol for chlorine. The seventh electron is shared in the covalent bond with hydrogen. This two-dimensional representation of a molecule is called a Lewis structure. We'll be working through dozens of Lewis structures in the coming days, so let's look at a few more examples. While hydrochloric acid only makes one covalent bond, diatomic molecules such as oxygen and nitrogen can make multiple bonds. Oxygen's double bond holds four electrons. Think of this as two electrons per dash, while nitrogen's triple bond holds six electrons. Before moving on, verify that you can count all eight electrons around each of these atoms. For example, the bond between hydrogen and chlorine counts as two electrons on hydrogen, but it also counts as two electrons on chlorine. Add these two electrons to the three lone pairs of electrons, and we can verify that chlorine is now surrounded by eight electrons due to the formation of this bond. On your own, verify the octet rule is satisfied on oxygen and nitrogen, then let's practice counting electrons on some more interesting molecules. How many shared and unshared electrons are in this Lewis structure of hydrazine? To count the shared electrons, we count all of the bonds. We have five single bonds containing two electrons each for a total of 10 shared electrons. Unshared electrons are the lone pairs. 
Two lone pairs with two electrons each give us four unshared electrons. How many shared and unshared electrons are in this Lewis structure of hydrogen cyanide? We have one single bond containing two electrons and one triple bond containing six electrons for a total of eight shared electrons. There is one lone pair giving us two unshared electrons. As always, I'll leave you with the parting thoughts of the authors for this section.